Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about that. How can you do a top selling product analysis in Power Pivot? And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make four videos of different levels of complexity in increasing levels and solve more challenging problems in finding top selling products. Let's just first take a look at the data. So we have a products table here, which has the information about all the products. The first column is product code, the type of the product, the product name, category, price, commission. And the second table is the actual transactions data where you capture each and every transaction. So you have a transaction ID, which is a unique column and the date uh, of the sale. Uh, forget about this column affiliate payout region uh, product ID. This product ID can be mapped in the products table. We have the number of units sold. We have the channel sold. Uh, we have the affiliate code and we have the interval was it was it sold in season or off season. And uh, then we have a little calendar table here. We're going to need this in Power Pivot. So let's just first load the data into Power Pivot before even finding anything else. We have to find what is the total sales and only then using total sales can we find which is the best selling product. All right. So I'm just going to take this state uh, this table into Power Pivot. So open Power Pivot, add to data model. And just in about a while, it gets added to the data model. We have the products table right here. Just going to minimize that and move over to the second table, Power Pivot, Add to Data Model. The second table also goes inside Power Pivot. Uh, and finally, I'm also going to add the calendar table uh, into Power Pivot. So uh, Power Pivot, Add to Data Model, and the calendar table also goes into Power Pivot. Uh, let's just first establish relationships. So I'm just going to go into the diagram view and establish some relationships here. So sales is my transactions table and I'm going to link the product ID from here to the product code right here. And I'm going to link the date of the sale from here to the calendar table right here. Now I'm just going to create a pivot table from here and put the pivot table inside a new worksheet and just paste it right here. Now let's just take a look. So obviously in the sales table, you have the number of units, but you don't have the sales and how are you going to find the sales? So I'm going to uh, take the units, uh, from this table, multiply it with the price from this table. And that's how I'm going to get the units. So I'll technically have to write a VLOOKUP in this table and get the price and then multiply the two columns. And we're going to do that using a measure. So let's just make a total sales measure, which is really simple. Total sales is going to be our equals to sum X. Um, it asks you for two things. What's the table? So go in every single row of the sales table and write a VLOOKUP, which is nothing but your related function and get me the price of the product. And then you multiply that price with the units in the sales table that completes our um, sales measure. And I'm going to give it a, a currency. Uh, let's just put it as a dollar United States English dollar. Okay. And we have the total sales measure right here. Let's just arrange this by months. So I'm just going to take the calendar right here and I immediately it's going to give me a uh, quarter month and stuff. So let's just delete this delete this and let's just expand the table right here. So um, I'm just going to do a bit of uh, pivot table formatting right here and report layout in tabular. And I'm just going to expand the plus minus buttons and I actually don't need the plus minus buttons. All right. Uh, and also I am so going to auto fit this. All right. Now that we have the total sales, um, by different months, let's just also find which is the best selling product. Now I want to create a pivot table, something like this. Let me just explain to you. So copy that, paste that right here. And if I drag the products, uh, the product name underneath the month, obviously I'll have monthly sales of different products. Now take, just take a look that if I just sort this pivot table from largest to smallest, I'll get to have that balance sheet was the top selling product and its sales was 270. Cash flow was the top selling product in February and its sales was 360. So what I'd like to do is I in this table next to the sales, I'd like to find out that the total sales of January is uh, about 1200. What was the sales of the top selling product? So this was a sale of the top selling product next month. What was the sale of the top selling product? So this was the sale of the top selling product. And for that, I'm going to write a measure. This is an expanded pivot table where I'm not going to use the, the products in the rows to find the best selling product. I'm just going to do that using a measure. So let me just write another measure and this is going to be uh, best selling product sales, another measure. And I'm just going to say equals to max X. So I'm just saying that, Hey, 
find the maximum from which table from the products table that means go in every single row of the products table and calculate something called as total sales that we just calculated now once you calculate total sales in every single row of the products table find me the maximum of that that's what it means so again um, uh, us format right here where is that english united states I'm just terrible at finding this all right and as soon as i drag that right here you can check that uh, this is my best selling product sales so 270 in the first month uh, 270 in the first month then 360 then 180 and so on and so forth so i'm getting the best selling product sales great so i don't need this pivot table now somebody can turn around and say that hey this is good I am getting the name of the best selling product, but can you also tell me which product was this? That means what's the name of the product that achieved 270 as the maximum sales in the month of January? How can we do that? Let's just find the name of the best selling product, which isn't, which isn't a common thing in the normal pivot table. So um, best selling product, right? And so I'm going to use a top end measure for that. So I'm going to say, hey, find me the first row. Uh, in which table in the products table uh, and uh, get, get me the total sales I mean arrange the top end in the order of the total sales so just have one row in the products table and the order or the criteria of uh, keeping that one row should be the total sales that's what it means um, and products table is going to have multiple columns so I don't read multiple columns I just need a single columnar table a table with just one column with the name of the product so i'm just going to wrap around the name of the table into the values function uh, with the product name and what this is going to do is this is going to just uh, get me a single product like a one columnar table with distinct values now this table is going to have one column right according to total sales which is the best sales in the products table now i'm going to extract that by using the first non-blank formula so I'm going to write first non-blank, first non-blank uh, accepts a column name and you can see that the top end is actually a single columnar table. It asks for an expression but we don't have an expression so I'm just going to write a blank one there. Uh, I think I made a bracket error somewhere, have I? I'm not sure. Let's just take a look. Check the formula, it's all good and I'm just going to say OK, accepts that and let's just drag it right here. Awesome. This gives me the name of the best selling product. So you can take a look that it's showing me balance sheet uh, template 1.1 right here, and then cash flow modeling course right here. And again, in the, in the third month, you have the cash flow modeling course once again, and so on and so forth. So this is actually correct. But take a look that our data is only till August. Uh, and from September onwards, we don't have the data. And it's still showing us the value. So I'm just gonna wrap around my, uh, the first non-blank formula, which is the name of the product into an if function so i'm going to say if the total sales of the product is equals to blank that means if there's nothing here then give me a blank else perform the first non-blank calculation and i'm just going to close the bracket check the dax formula all good and this is going to hide this calculation right here this is amazing so as of now what we've done is three things we have um, found the total sales we have done the total sales of the best selling product and we've also found out the name of the best selling product. Now, another further level of complexity could be that somebody asks you, hey, as of now, I just have one product. But can you give me, let's say, uh, total sales of top three selling products, right? So um, we'll have to find that. A further level of complexity could be, hey, can you find the names of those three selling best selling products? So in the next video, uh, I'm going to teach you that how do you do that? Stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.